Almost made it to the front. So there it is. My 2019 Hobie Outback. It uh it does pretty good. It's a little hard for me to stand up in. But why wow, once I'm up, it's not too bad. It's pretty stable. Don't feel like you're gonna fall in or anything. Plenty of room for storage. It'll uh, it'll get in some shallow water. To get to this spot where I'm at was almost about uh, two inches of water all the way to here. And I had to get out and walk, but it uh, it it got through it all right. Surprisingly, my boat board did the same thing. My attack, I would have had to get out and walk and maneuver it and pick it up and it was a little bit heavier. But once you're out in deep water or deeper water where you can put the pedals down and use them, it'll cruise along pretty good. It uh, no hole slap none not even a little bit it's real quiet going through the water the uh the only thing i don't like about it paddle's too short if you don't mind getting a bath because that paddle will give you one other than that I like it. Pedals nice, no squeaks. Uh, used the reverse this morning for a little bit. That was pretty fun. It uh, it definitely will go in reverse, and it'll go pretty quick. Uh, not sure how often I'll bring the whole kitchen sink, but. I may make a rod holder for the back to put all them rods in and just bring out a little, you know, the little planos, the waterproof planos. But other than that, it's nice. I like it. Like I say, standing up's a challenge because the seat's so low to the ground. But uh, once you're up, it's no big deal after that. It's just getting up. But other than that, it's nice. Played around with some tailing reds earlier. But they didn't want to play the game, so... Plenty of tails over there, but they weren't interested. Maybe if I'd have got here earlier, I got kind of a late start. But hopefully in the next couple days I'll have a fish finder slash GPS. I got a Ray Marine or a Ray Marine Dragonfly Pro Seven coming and I got the Nakawa battery for it and I'm probably gonna order some starboard I guess I'll probably uh, put my my little uh, anchor pole back there 
can't see spending almost a thousand dollars for a uh, power pole not when I can make it myself so <coughs> not when all it takes is a rope to drop it down to the ground so uh, I think that's the route I'm gonna go Trying to think of the, the dual steering rudder is nice. It's a little loose. I'm going to probably tighten it up just a little bit. Because once you get going, if you take your hand off of it, it'll kind of edge its way back to the left. The rudder wheel. So it's not quite stiff enough for me. <coughs> if you got a paddle a long distance. I'd pull the rudder up because it tracks really straight. But uh, we will be switching out that paddle for uh, something a little bit longer. I don't mind getting wet now because it's starting to be spring, summer. But, but uh, winter time would be uh, no bueno. The. Uh, haven't even took the Mirage Drive out. As long as you use that bungee strap right there to pull the uh, fins up against the kayak. That little uh, indention that's on the bottom of the hole works real good. You don't really notice the drag or anything. But... So far, so good. <coughs> if you got any questions or anything, feel free to message me or hit me up on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, whatever. And if you like this video or don't like it, hit the like or you don't like it whichever one if you don't mind hit that subscribe button and i'll see you when i put out my next video peace out